All right, guys, there it is. That is the money maker. That is a live crappie going down. Did some ultralight fishing recently. Kept me some crappie and a bluegill in a bucket. Got cut skipjack on the front two rods, dropping this live crappie down on this one. May put a bluegill on the other back rod, a live bluegill. Two cut baits, two live baits. Right here on Nickajack in a little in a little choke point area. There's a I fished here on my last trip down to Nickajack a few days ago. I had to come back and hit this spot again. I fished this same area in the afternoon, got several flatheads on cut bait. So, so I want to come back and hit it again. But this area here, you can see maybe on a map, opens up up here and funnels down real tight right here. And then off the screen here, opens up again. So fish working up and down the river here, they all get funneled through this very tight little trench, this, this little choke, I call them choke points, where they all get funneled through a narrow area. And so this morning, hoping to take advantage, I'm hoping those flatheads that were here a few days ago, I'm hoping they're still here. I really wanted to know what was going on during the morning hours, the morning bite, right at, right at sunrise, which I have unfortunately missed, but I'm hoping they're still here. Oh man, Daniel, Daniel just pointed this out to me, y'all. I got a line in the water here. I didn't even feel him. I didn't even feel him, but that's on that crappie. That's on the live crappie. Oh man, yeah. Live crappie just went down, y'all. Live crappie went down. That's my fish, you know it. <laughs> oh no. I offered you one by gosh. He said, no, I'm only, I only need one live bait. I got these crappie the other y'all on my ultralight trip and I was so excited to get them because I knew I was coming back down here. And I was like, man, I can, I'm going to catch something on them live crappie. There's going to be a flathead gobble that thing up. I've caught some good flatheads through the years on live crappie. Especially during the, this time of year, during the spring. I don't know if I mentioned it there when I was talking about the spot. Where I'm 62 feet here where I'm at. And I don't even know what this is. I don't know if it's a flathead or a blue, but I'm assuming a flathead. Yeah, it is. And it, you know what? It ain't. Daniel, this fish has eat the stinger hook. He's eat the stinger hook below the crappie. Not the live bait. How about that? Well, apparently by God, because he's got that stinger hook in the mouth and the crappie's right above him. How about that, man? Holy cow. All right, y'all, hang on. I got the dang flathead in the floor. We got a barge coming through. These damn barges, you know, they own the river. All right, guys, I'm over here on the shore. That's one of the things about fishing down here on Nickajack, this section anyway, very narrow channel. And when you get a big barge coming through, there's no way for them to go around you, so bad timing we just got set up got all our lines in daniel got hit a couple times and uh i got this flathead and we got to pull up and move here but he ate this dang stinger hook i put my stinger hook fly rigs with my live baits so that this thing would just be dangling down there under it as the as the live bait kicked around and sure as the world Got a nice flathead here. Nice colored flathead, small, but nice colored flathead. I'm pretty happy about that, man. That's a, that's a big bait. I mean, that's a over 10 inch crappie for that flathead, but it got his attention and he ate the smaller fly there under it. So I'm gonna let this little guy go and uh, we'll get over here and get set up again here in a minute. Got this dang, barge coming through you know they again they own the river you gotta they got the right away so we got to get out of the way of them when they come through but uh nevertheless y'all off to a good start this crappie here has seen better days but he is still wiggling around a little bit i'm just gonna rehook him and send him back down i do have i do have some more crappie there in the bucket at least one more that's still alive, so. 
use him here shortly. And then I got some bluegill in there too, so. Back down he goes. That's exciting though, man. Getting a flathead on that little stinger fly. What are the odds of that? Oh, my crappie. My crappie's going down, y'all. Oh, my crappie's going down. It's going down, y'all. I know it's only been a few seconds for video purposes, but it's been a while in real time. Daniel and I moved downstream, hit a deep hole down there, nothing going on, just nothing. So he ended up going further downstream. I came back upstream to hit a little shallower area. I'm in a, a sh shallower hole, I guess you would say. It's 48 feet here where I'm at. It's upstream from where we started today. And I've had baits in here 15, 20 minutes probably nothing happening and now my live crappie has been eaten by a blue no it has not no it has not it has eaten the stinger hook that is two fish now my crappie's gone it probably got knocked off on the fight look at that that blue has got that stinger hook in the mouth that's two fish now on the smaller stinger hook i'll be doggone man you know, my, my friend Dewey back home, he made them, them stinger flies for me. Well, he had some that he had made for himself left over. He gave them to me. He told me that I'd be catching some fish just on the fly itself. And I, I thought, well, we'll see. But by gosh, that's two fish today. And I got one a, a few days ago, a flathead on the fly. That is just amazing, man. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be switching these fly rigs over to all of my. This is a female right here. Oh man, this pop free, doggone it! I went to grab it and it hooks okay. I just, I botched that one, y'all. Doggone, man. Ding round two, live bluegill, live bluegill, along with the stinger hook. We'll see what this fish eat. At this point, I'd about bet on the stinger fly versus the bluegill. Y'all, it is now 2.48. Me and Daniel, we got off the water for a little while, went and had some lunch at this little burger joint up the road from where we launched at. And we come back down here to where we started the trip first thing this morning. And that, I'll be doggone, that is a flathead on the fly. You can see the bluegill right up there on the hook. And the, unreal, unfreaking real This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Another one on the fly, Daniel. Live bluegill, it eats the fly. I mean, folks, you can't make this stuff up. I mean, it's it's just unfreaking real. I had a live bluegill right there, <laughs> and the flathead eats the fly that's dangling under it. Unbelievable! Super tiny flathead, but nevertheless, I'm gonna switch out the bluegill. He looks like he's about had it. That's that's another one right there. That's another one that acted like a flathead, y'all. That acted like a flathead, and that feels like a little bit better fish. I think it's gonna be the biggest one of the day for me so far, Daniel. So, 15 inches? <laughs> oh, Daniel's got jokes. Good thing I ain't got a microphone on him. <laughs> He's pulling, man. I think it's another flathead, Daniel. He hit it like a flathead, didn't he? I'm curious to see if he's on the fly or the bait. This is my last bluegill, so. Yeah. He's pulling, buddy. I'm telling you, Daniel, the other day out here, one flathead after another. But this morning, you know, we couldn't buy a fish down here. It may be an afternoon bite. You got that one. Yeah, I got that one first thing. That's the only one we got in this box, just that one. Yeah. Everything else was further down or further up. Yeah. And not many, but 
Well, for me, yeah, Daniel outfished me today. He'll never let me live it down. He got a 39 inch blue and a few other, damn shame he wasn't near me when it happened. You could have got on some video there, Daniel. If I'd had your content, I could have made a normal video earlier. Yeah, this one right here, I'm pretty confident it's gonna be a flathead and I think it's gonna be a decent one too. He's got my front line up here. It's all right. Yeah, probably. We got a little bit of current flow right now. And so my front lines have kind of drifted back in the current. Just spot locked here, 61 feet. And got eight ounce sinkers, but it's enough. There's enough flow to kind of put your lines at an angle. So as I bring fish that hit the back rods up, they're going to get in these front lines occasionally. Ain't nothing you can really do about it other than not fish with the front lines. And I sure don't want to not have them in the water right now with as little action as we've had going on today. Yeah, that's another flathead. Uh, he actually, I, I'm pretty sure this one here ate the bluegill, Daniel. That's my last bluegill. Yeah, he did. He ate the bluegill. That's the first one I've got to eat a piece of bait all day. <laughs> all right, flatty. That's not bad. That's not a bad flathead right there, y'all. Come over here. You want to get some camera time, Flatty? Thank you for eating that bluegill, Mr. Flathead. I appreciate that. I went to, I went to some effort yesterday getting them bluegill and the crappie for this trip, and all I needed was a daggone, was a daggone fly. Yeah, he gobbled that bluegill up. I hope I can get them to eat some cut bait here because. I'm out. That was that was that. All right, y'all. What a day this has been. What a crazy day. But I got a flathead here that you can't half see because the sun's behind me. Well, he's got some nice colorations on him there. That's not a not a bad flathead. All right, guys. My next bait going down. I was going to put another small sliver of cut bait because I think it's just a smaller bait kind of day, but that last flathead did eat that live bluegill, which is about eight inches. And I have one crappie here that was in my cooler that I'd saved. And so that's a, I don't know, 11 inch or so crappie. I'm gonna take my knife and I'm just gonna cut some slits in it, get it bleeding a little bit. And I'm gonna put it down there whole, just whole and bleeding a little bit with those slits on my stinger uh, stinger fly set up here and we're going to see what that does for us you know it's a big basically just a big dead bait or big cut bait but i don't know i'm perplexed by these fish today i really don't know what they want it's been a very confusing day to figure out days like this are, are what make fishing fun really even though it's not been fun action-packed it gets you thinking. So here is the next bait going down. We'll drop him down there, have that fly dangling in the current, and uh, who knows, something's liable to gobble it up. Are you kidding me? I never felt him. Daniel pointed it out. That crappie's been eaten, or the fly one. The whole crappie. Good gosh, he's pulling. I knew it was going to take a good-sized fish, Daniel, to eat that thing. Goodness, he's pulling. So confusing today, Daniel. What in the world is happening? Couldn't, couldn't get anything to eat, a piece of cut bait or live bait. They wanted to fly. And now the last two fish, a big bluegill and a whole 11 inch crappie. Watch this be a 50 inch flathead that hit the fly and not the crappie. Oh my gosh, if this thing hit the fly, he ain't no 50 incher, I'll tell you that. But it's another, probably comparable size to the last one i got and i bet you it's a flathead i never felt the thing daniel said your rod's going over and i look back and uh i mean it's it's doubled over you know you know what the best part for you in this is daniel the fact the fish hit this rod so you're actually getting some camera time right now because otherwise you wasn't going to be getting none today and i was just about 
about to move to the other side of your kayak. <laughs> We'll make him a star today, won't we, folks? We'll make him a star. He can be that, that uh, what do they call them? Photo bombing, is that what it is when somebody's in the picture that ain't supposed to be there? Yeah. You're a photo bomber, Daniel. I'm probably getting flagged on YouTube right now for saying the word bomb, too. Well, he took back off. Ain't just, I mean, Daniel, we couldn't buy fish all dang morning and now three fish here. Well, you still can't buy one, but three fish here just in a few minutes. Goodness, man. Okay, it is a flathead. I see him down there. Oh my gosh, Daniel, look. Look at this. He's got the fly. And the crappie's still there? No, the crappie's gone. Okay. He's knocked it off, but he ate the fly. What the heck? What the heck is going on here today? But Justin, I thought catfish were just bottom sucking poopies. Gosh. I mean, this is unreal, folks. Unreal. Ate the fly. Had that big crappie there. It's gone. I can only assume he knocked it off in the fight. Ate the daggone fly. Man, I gotta text Dewey and tell him thanks for making me them things unreal there he is folks that's you know not a huge flathead but uh not a bad one either <laughs>